Hello, my name is Bob Golding, and I, uh, I am a Senior Escalation Engineer with Microsoft. And this is the first in a series of uh, presentations on Multipath I.O. So let's begin. Why would somebody, why would a customer want to install MPIO? MPIO presents multiple paths between the host and storage device and has redundancy in case of a path failure. If a path fails, it is detected and the path is taken out of service. Uh, later, if the path, if the error is transient and, and uh, the path can be reinstantiated into the system. You can have faster I.O. because I.O. will go down multiple paths to the same unit. The uh, a, a module called the DSM is uh, presents a load balancing policy that will uh, <clears throat> will, will uh, utilize multiple paths to uh, use the I.O. And also you have consistent availability in event of a path failure. MPIO recognizes these paths that are pointing to the same device. Device. This is done between MPIO and a <coughs> module called the DSM. <coughs> Storage vendors can write their own device-specific module of DSM to hook into MPIO. There is a generic DSM that's provided by Microsoft but uh, vendors, storage vendors, uh, have a better understanding of the underlying architecture and can better handle some of these errors because MPIO and the DSM work in concert to handle errors that can occur uh, on a path. Without MPIO, suppose a server has two paths going to the same storage device. Without MPIO, Windows will see as two different arrays and both will be presented to the upper layers. And see, you can see the example below. With MPIO, if you have two paths to the same storage, between MPIO and the DSM, one array will be presented to the upper layers. MPIO present single virtual devices. Now, without MPIO, you'll see two paths times three LUNs, you'll get six devices. You have three LUNs on the target, two paths going to the host. When it's enumerated, the system will see six devices. You install MPIO, three devices were presented, will be presented to the system because the fact that there are multiple devices or multiple, we one, de, one path with multiple devices, MPIO and the DSM will recognize this and one path will present, be presented to the system. <clears throat> Here's an example. Uh, we have a pseudo LUN, which is a representation of all paths in MPIO, and we have two real devices which are generated due to the enumeration of the, uh, of the SCSI bus. And because of the way Storeport works, there'll be two devices enumerated that represent a, a path to each device. And here we have the real one. You can see we have path one going to the storage unit. And then we have path two going to the same unit. Now to the system, when enumeration is done, this is gonna look like two different devices because two paths are gonna be picked up and because of MPIO, only one device will be presented to the system instead of multiples. And in this example, we see we have six devices, but only three devices will be presented to the system. We have three devices and two paths. Now the storage stack without MPIO, in this example, we have two adapters, adapter zero and adapter one. Both adapters are on the uh, present, have the bus wired, so LUN0 and LUN1 are seen on both adapters. And here we have HBA0, HBA1. Disc uh, LUN0 disc, LUN1 disc, A, B, 
another representation on HPA1, C, and D. Without MPIO, the storage stack is going to see four devices. Now, with MPIO and with the aid of the DSM, when the disk is enumerated, you'll, see, you'll get one disk. MPIO will present A and C together as one disk and B and D together as one disk. And you can see side by side without MPIO, all four LUNs were presented to the system. In this representation, you can see that A and C is presented, is presented to uh, MPIO, but MPIO will, will boil it down to one device. Same thing with LUN 1 along with the DSM. The DSM and MPIO will work in con concert during enumeration. Let's talk a little bit about terminology. I've talked about uh, MPIO devices. Uh, MPIO presents a pseudo LUN, which under the pseudo LUN, there are multiple instances of a path. The multiple instances of a disk because of the many paths, but the pseudo LUN is what's presented to the system. A real LUN, generally that refers to the instance of a disk device, uh, usually the port PDO, which is the real LUN. The real LUN and port PB PDO are interchangeable when we talk about MPIO. A path is an interconnect between the host and the target that exposes one or more disk devices. And a port PDO represents a storage adapter or HBA that's enumerated by the system. Now below is an example of all the hierarchy of MPIO objects. We have MPIO control object which is created by the system during a uh, during system startup. We have a control extension, which is the device extension on the control device object. On that we have a device list that has all the pseudo LUNs and the DSMs. When the device comes into the system or, or path of path, the all DSMs are notified. One DSM will claim the path and will claim this path and is responsible for determining when the, uh, when the device is instantiated, that it's a, uh, a new device, the first device on a path where, where the pseudo LUN PDO has to be created, or this is an additional device on an existing path where it'll be added to the pseudo LUN. And on the pseudo LUN, all the pseudo LUNs have an extension. And in the extension, we have what's called device infos. In the device infos, there is a representation of the path. And in these device infos is the path device stack. And that's how IO is sent to all the paths. And there's one device info for every path that's enumerated by MPIO. And in this example, we have three pseudo LUNs, which, which in turn will have three MPDEV extensions. And the, all the MPDEV extensions will have all the paths uh, that are associated with the with the LUN. And in this example, we have two DSMs, DSM0 and DSM1. Uh, D, D, one, one could be the Microsoft generic DSM and another can be the uh, a, uh, an OEM uh, provided DSM. And during initialization, uh, when the path is presented, again, each DSM is presented the path and the decision in the D one DSM will claim the path and uh, be responsible for managing it along with MPIO. The challenges to normal IO is straightforward. Errors are more difficult. Uh, there's some level of buffer overflows. There's a problem of path failure. So these things have to be handled. Distinguish between path failure and device pa failure, which is a challenge retry, don't retry, try a different path. Uh, th all these decisions are made in concert with the DSM. We'll talk about, we'll talk more about MPIO in, 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 um, in following uh, presentations. This concludes this first presentation on MPIO. 
I hope you enjoyed it and you know more about MPIO. Thank you.